this is the yard that I need to illuminate with a yard light. This uh, hyper icon light will be the third light I've used. Um, I currently have a lead unit that's attached up there. It's a Honeywell, but it um, died after about a year and a half, so I'm not very happy about that. Previously I had a 300 watt halogen tube light, one of those uh, wedge-shaped boxes. The problem with that was that it only cast light in one direction, so it lit up the entry very nicely, but um, didn't cast any light in behind. So now I'm going, I replaced it with this uh, LED light that uh, had great hopes for that, um, but it died. This review of the Hypericon LED yard or parking lot light has three parts. First part's a test of the distance the light illuminates. That's what you're watching now. This is the light in front of the fixture. The next panels show the light to the side of the fixture. The second part is a description of the light and the accessories that come with it. The third part's a video of the installation. I bought the 150 watt model. It's a very bright light with two panels of 17 LED circuits for a total of 34 circuits. They also come in 100, 200, and 300 watt models. The light produced by the 150 watt model is 17,300 lumens. It's a very bright light. They have an IP65 rating, which is ingress protection ip ingress protection rating it helps determine the light is sufficiently sealed against moisture to protect electrical components a minimum of 100 ip44 is recommended for outdoor use they have a cri rating of 80 plus in general terms, CRI is a measure of the light source's ability to show objects realistically or naturally compared to familiar reference source, either incandescent light or daylight. They have a beam angle of 120 degrees, which is the horizontal angle that the light projects out to the side. As you can see in the test, the light is not as strong at the side, but it casts light in a circle all around the light, with a stronger light out in front of the fixture. It has a 5700 Kelvin rating, which they describe as arctic white, almost a bright light, blue-white. The manufacturer claims a lifespan of 40,000 plus, 45,000 plus hours. I installed mine 15 feet above the ground, although 20 feet would be better if you can get that high. Otherwise, the light is in the field of view. It can be installed with a protocell, dust to dawn switch, or a pass through switch so that you can control it by some other means. It can be connected to an electrical supply of from 120 volts to 277 volts. It's UV free, mercury free, and it has a five year warranty. It operates on temperatures from minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with a couple of mounting options for poles and walls. Others can be ordered. So these are the accessories that came with the Hyper Icon. This is uh, kind of just a back plate. 
<clears throat> the um, mounting bracket has the two holes here that uh, you can attach things to. This is would be like a pole mount. This is a piece of foam, <clears throat> I guess, cushion. The connection, you got the uh, marrettes, a couple of bolts that you can use to uh, attach into a plate. This is a card that comes with it. It says it's got a five-year warranty. So this is the um, photo cell sensor, the dust to dawn switch. It's got a little circuit card in there and a whole bunch of electrical component bits. This uh, points to the north, but um, you know, it would be good if they could uh, allow you to rotate this because it's um, not going to always point to the north, depending upon how it's a where it's attached onto your pole. These are additional bolts that I've uh, purchased to attach the thing. This um, I'm going to attach it to a wooden power pole that's 8 inch diameter about, and this is an 8 inch um, bolt, and put this unit inside, and then, you know, connect the uh, thing to that, except that uh, this is a 3 8 inch bolt, and uh, the hole is uh, some uh, about five sixteenths, so th that's a little problematic. I'd have to drill these holes uh, to uh, accommodate the three eighths inch. So I bought this, which is uh, I've cut it to a ten inch long. It's a threaded bar, and I've cut it to ten inches long, and it's uh, five sixteenths of an inch. So. It fits into the hole as uh, just, you know, without uh, any modification to anything. So this is the installation guide that comes with the unit. It uh, kind of details several different ways you can um, mount the, uh, the unit on a variety of different poles or wall surfaces or, you know, whatever your particular application is. So this is the lighting fixture. <clears throat> this is the bracket that you uh, use to attach the poles. They've got uh, cooling fins here. It's really heavy. A very uh, heavy duty piece of uh, equipment. This is the lead bulbs itself. I got two units. Um, I purchased a 150 watt. Probably should have got a 100 watt. It has just a single unit. and. That probably would have served my purpose, but um, I'm going to get plenty of light out of this one, I think. So they call this a uh, lead shoebox light. It's um, for mount pole mounts uh, used in commercial and industrial applications, usually for parking lots and uh, for uh, eliminating large areas. Uh, this is 150 watt. It's uh, got a 5700K rating for the color of the light, which they um, describe as Arctic bright white. It's a 120 to 277 volt um, capacity capability, and uh, it has 17,300 lumens, which is uh, going to be pretty uh, bright for my application. So this uh, bracket, mounting bracket thing comes off, makes it a little bit easier to install so that uh, you can just uh, deal with this thing instead of having to uh, hold the whole light up because it's extraordinarily heavy. It's uh, coated steel, they say. So this is a molded plastic uh, lens cap uh, for the LED units and um, each one of these little bubbles is uh, magnified in order to uh, enhance the uh, intensity of the light that it produces. Each panel has um, 17 LED uh, circuits and um, so that would be 34 circuits altogether and uh, the total uh, input is a uh, 150 watts. So that's going to reduce the uh, cost of operation pretty significantly, I think.
So I plan on using this as a dawn to dusk light, so I'll be using the uh, photo cell unit, the cap, and so it just screws in like that. So what kind of specs do you get on that light when, you, when you're uh, buying it? Do you get a, a beam spread angle? 120 degrees. 120 degrees, nice. It's, um, IP65, the uh, moisture uh, protection. So it's uh, oh, okay. Okay. the the minimum IP for outdoor uh, fixtures is 44, and okay. this is 65. So it's yeah, we're, uh, we're familiar with the different ratings for our enclosures. It's meeting or exceeding your minimum code, right? Right. Well, it's 150 watts. It's 17,300 lumen. Right. It's Which is uh, gonna be yeah, it's going to really light this up. <laughs> and um, they use them mostly for industrial and commercial applications, parking lots and yep. stuff. Yep. It has its, it's a really white light. It's 5700 K. Yeah, 5700, it's almost getting into the blue. And it's uh, rated for 110 to 277 watts. Oh, okay. Volt. Volt. Just getting that out. Unreliable, eh? Well, it's the weirdest thing. I think it's the uh, photo cell. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a strobe flash. It went on and off and on and off. Oh, and okay. On and That's off probably the driver, actually. Oh. Yeah. If it just flashed. Yeah. Flashed. Yeah. At about that speed. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the driver. That's pretty good. <sighs> it's only a couple inches lower than the other, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Make sure the drill, the bit's level. Yeah, I, and straight, I saw you line it up. Or is straight with, like your first hole is kind of a gimme. Yeah. And then your second hole right. is an important one, right? Right. So you line them up relatively straight. Right. You doing the battle test now? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, really good. Last summer. Yeah, yeah. Boy, this was the summer for horseshoes, I'll tell oh, you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Twenty degree spread. Yeah. 
like when LEDs were new, they were very spotty. Right. Right. And now um, I'm not sure how they do them differently. Yeah. Perhaps they're curving. Well, this the has a so the little bulbs. Um, they're actually the diffusers for the yeah, LEDs. Magnifying effects. Really. Yeah. They uh, they extend the light even further. I see. I that'll probably that probably helps give right. that 120 degrees as well. Right. Yeah. Because. Right. Uh, that was one of the concerns with earlier LEDs, yeah. is that they were too spotty. They didn't yeah. spread enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's just definitely weird. the next generation of yeah. lighting. For yeah. Sure. yeah. It's well, that's uh, it's everywhere. You can buy the little mm -hmm. 60 watt uh, replacement. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The A19 replacements. You yeah. can buy almost any bulb as a replacement LED. Yeah. Yeah. Fluorescent tubes you can get as just yeah. tube replacements that just pop right, right in for you. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Co they cold start. Yeah. Way better than yeah. any for even the new electronic fluorescents, which right. cold start fairly good down to about minus 20. Yeah. LEDs just cold start. Yeah. Don't matter. You, Actually, you put current to it and it just lights up. Right. Yeah. I had fluorescent tubes out in my garage and mm -hmm. I replaced them with red bulbs. Yeah. So I got the, 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 the LED tube. tubes. Yeah. And it's hard to find. But yeah. They're becoming more common yeah. and you have access to them at places yeah. like recall and, and places like that. They, they still can make stuff. costco. Did. It's kind of cool. Did. Actually, Costco is a great place. We were getting dimmable um, R20 LED replacements um, for, for like dimmable. hot lights and stuff, and wow. they were dimmable. Because um, they said this is dollars dimmable. a pair. Oh, wow. Well, really I mean, good. a halogen, a, a quality halogen yeah. R20 is four and a half dollars yeah. a piece, right? So you're That's actually cheaper than buying the halogen. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Those fluorescent uh, replacements were um, like 30 bucks. Hopefully never replace yeah, them again, right? Yeah, well, that yeah. was that's the idea with this thing. Oh, you're gonna pop that tape up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's Besides, we're going to we're going to Agnes's place. There you go. Maybe we get more cookies. Maybe we'll get more cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. For the video, I've got a um, board uh, like panels, and I'm gonna put 15 feet, 30 feet, 45 feet, oh, 60 nice. feet, and just to get see, the light spread. Yeah, see how far the lights project. All right, all right, thank you very no much. No problem, sir. Super job. Thank you.